Hello, welcome back to the garden where we are just about to open up the last part. But first of all, we need to leave this on a, a good note where everything isn't about to dry up. <laughs> so I'm just going to water everything quickly. We also need to finish off the back part of the garden, which we're going to be doing once we've gotten rid of all of these flies. And then we are literally just getting the garden ready for the last bit to unlock. Why are there so many flies today? How can I still hear them? Where are they? There. Any more? I think that's it. There, that's better. Look how pretty these look. They, these are growing much better than they did the first time I grew these, um, which actually, as you may have seen in the previous video, will be because they have done another update for climbing plants. That one's not doing so well, but maybe that's because it needs some water. There we go. Okay, and now this side. We really started on a, a bad note with the garden this morning. Everything's dry, everything's covered in flies. I hope this isn't uh, ominous because we're about to unlock the final part of the garden. Okay, did the new update bring more flies with it? There. Okay, we're good. That that should be everything. Everything's happy. Let's pet the cat. Cute cat. <laughs> oh, actually, we've got a second cat over here. I almost forgot about this one. <laughs> Have to treat all the cats equally. Right, we're only about halfway through the day at the moment. So before we go to sleep and wait for this to unlock, we're going to try to make a bit more money from bouquets using the snipping tool. <laughs> Still excited about this. Uh, actually, we also do have... Uh, oh, that's planting. We need white daffodils for Leslie, that's right. But we do need dark peony bouquets and sunflower cuttings. Don't really need to snip the sunflowers, but... Oh, actually, this has only just occurred to me. The snipping tool on fl the flowers that only have a single flower, like sunflowers, at least it does keep their height. So, like before, if I had a really tall sunflower, I felt a bit bad about just, like, cutting it shorter. But, no, it's not a problem. I forgot to water the peonies. He needs six dark red peony bouquets. This isn't going to make six. It made two. <laughs> um, so that's that's all you can have for now. I wonder if I have any more... Not in there. Daffodil seeds. White daffodils. I love this so much more now that it's organised. And we actually have a ton of seeds in here, so let's put those away. Oh wait, were those green hellebore? Because I need those. First of all, let's sort the drawer out. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, they were green hellebore. Just one, which isn't that exciting. But, you know, every single one gets us closer to the goal. I'm really kind of running out of room for these over here. I don't actually really like the green hellebore. So these are probably all going to come out when uh, the quest is finished. Let's snip all the jasmine. And all of these... have a serious lack of roses this time round in comparison to my last playthrough, the one that was lost. It's kind of sad because they're really useful for making bouquets out of. Okay, let's grab some of these with the snips. So 
still does feel a little bit brutal. Just snipping every single flower off. Oh, wow. The sunflowers have already grown back. That's fast. Do flowers grow back quicker when we cut them with a snipping tool in comparison to cutting them with the shears? Interesting. Should we snip the... No, why not? Let's snip that. I might actually put another wild poppy down here because I've picked one up. I think I did have more than two last time. Let's grab these over there. So many of these. Oh, this is going to be a lot. Can I hold this? No, you have to click every time. <laughs> Maybe skip ahead on this bit. <laughs> It was a good idea to plant loads of those. There we go. Um, let's get these out of there too. Actually, I'll store those sunflowers over there because I don't need those right now. But I do need them for um for later for the quest. Oh wait, we should take seeds with us. Um, what shall we sell? Maybe some white hellebore? Um... Quite a few of those. Let's take some ivy with us as well. And poppies, because there's always tons of poppies. Yeah, there we go. And then from over here, we'll put the leaves in. A lot of fertilizer. <laughs> and take a couple of bottles of that. Right, let's go. And fill this up. Might keep some of the cuttings. Like this one, because that should be making a bouquet pretty soon. <laughs> so many hydrangea bouquets. 20 hydrangea bouquets. Let's sell some of these and that. And we need to keep the peonies. Perfect. Look how pretty that looks. Need some more seed packets, really. That will look really nice full. Somebody on a previous um, on the previous video asked about the wire frames that I filled last time. That is over here in the pavilion, and I haven't done anything with this. I haven't um, when I was like getting back to the previous point on the game. I haven't even been in here. I unlocked it because that's kind of part of the um, the plot. It's part of the story, but I haven't come back or collected any of the flowers. To be honest, I haven't even looked at what I needed. This one needs red daffodil cuttings, which I actually don't have this time round. Um, and for that one, I needed white lilies. I still don't have that. Uh, that one needs pink hellebore red poppies. I think that was the first one we did last time too. So my plan this time, to be honest, is just to complete the rest of the game. So we're unlocking that final part. We're going to complete some more quests, um, get through the season, see what else happens in the game. And then more towards the end, I guess, we'll come back to this and uh, and do the pavilion and see what we unlock from there. Otherwise, there are just too many things to do at the same time. Hey, snips. No, that's secretaires, not those. <laughs> Wrong tool. There. There we go. And leaves in here. Look how much jasmine we have now. 
He remembers how long it took me to do that Jasmine quest the first time around to unlock the bridge. Okay, how many do we have now? We still need two more. Okay. This is an exciting moment. When we come back, this is finally going to be cleared. You need to move, Robin. Um, let's go. As I said in the previous video, I haven't seen this part of the garden at all. I haven't seen it on other people's videos. I haven't looked at any pictures of it. I literally do not know what it looks like. So I'm actually really excited to see this. We have post. Leslie, hello, my book club meeting is coming up and I'd really like to decorate my place for it. Maybe some yellow sunflower, red roses and red poppy bouquets would do the trick. Think about it, <laughs> Leslie. Okay, that's 390 florins, isn't bad. We will do that for you, Leslie. Let's have a quick check on the board, delaying the excitement. Oh, choose a new color for the greenhouse. We can do ivory greenhouse. Emerald Bridge, a Greek fence, and a black shed. Okay. I don't want to do any of that right now. But. Ooh. That, it's so much bigger. I can't wait to be able to get inside that greenhouse. Yeah, me too, Robin. You've been inside it before. That was always what I was most excited about. Do you really no, maybe not then. Having a greenhouse will be. The first thing I did was get Marcus, Jasmine, Frank and Laurie to help me push all this rubble to one side, just to get the garden started. Oh, so you, you're the one that barricaded the greenhouse over here. <laughs> I'm so glad they remembered. You've got so much more space now. And the greenhouse is so close, I can almost taste it. Now, we just have to unlock the door. Is it? Oh. Okay, so we can't just go in there. I need to clear this, but look how much space there is. There's another compost thing over here. Okay, this is exciting. That is so pretty. Look at all the stained glass. <laughs> Trying to see in. We have fans in there. Looks like there's some vines climbing on the top. Oh, and some planters already inside. Okay. Just longingly looking through the window now. Well, first of all, all of this needs to be watered, etc. So let's quickly do that because we can't let the rest of the garden die just because we have a new part. I also mentioned last time that I had somewhat of a plan depending on the size of that new part of the garden, which I do because I think on that side, which is um, where the, the lovely greenhouse is, I want it to be kind of like a like a Victorian style garden because it will fit with the, the beautiful greenhouse. So that's what we're going to try to do over there. We don't have that much money though, um, which is a small problem. <laughs> right, water this, go over here, water these ones. We've gone from having like not that much to do in a day in the garden to having so much to do in a day. I need to pick up all the stones, I need to try to make the pond for over here. We need to test out the size of that. And then we need to go and clear up all of the stuff that's on the other side of the garden. So I guess I can start by picking up the stones that are over here. Are there any more kind of in the corners or anything? No. Okay, and I think that was it. I don't think there were any at the back. No, we're fine with that. You might actually have enough stones to do the pond now. Oh no, we, do we don't even have anywhere near enough actually. We need... 10 normal stone. Can I buy stones at Leslie's? I must be able to. You missed one, Weedington. <laughs> there are two stones there that I just forgot about as well. Okay, let's go over here and start doing a bit of clearing. This is like 
back to the beginning of the game again. <laughs> Clearing all of these like dead bushes and stuff. Are there more bird noises over here or, or am I just imagining it? very ancient looking. I don't think I'll ever be able to go over there, but it does look nice. Okay, let's clear those out. We might put some of the big stones back, but we'll put them where we want them, not, not in random places. I actually don't know whether I want to paint the greenhouse so that it's ivory. Maybe. We might do that. Okay, first of all, let's move this bench because that is now just in the middle of everything. Well, oh, don't walk into the fence. What's on our next bit of the to-do list? We've had the rubble cleared away and now the next one is open up the greenhouse. But I haven't had any instructions on how to do that. So do I just wait? Hello, cat. <laughs> Don't you just wait for more instructions? Let's put some of these things away. Oh, we've got loads of green hellebore there. Let's put these ones in. So I've got a white daffodil. We should go plant that for Leslie. Let's take these sunflowers out. You need to keep an eye on those leaf piles because uh, I don't want to just leave them building up in here. Okay, seeds down. Green hellebore first. And that. And white daffodils in this bit over here. Oh, why did I only put one down? I've got six. Well, I had seven, but I still got six. is too much of the same flower over here. <laughs> These are definitely getting moved. Now white daffodil. There, and put the leaves away. Okay, how close are we to having the correct amount of sunflowers? We have 27 sunflowers. I think we can do that today. I don't know if the sunflowers would turn this direction, though. We've got jasmine, she's some more big haze. We need some peonies for Marcus's thing. We also need roses and poppies for Leslie. We are really close to the uh, Marcus quest for that one. Although the roses haven't really grown back yet. Hmm. We'll leave those for now. should be fine. Let's grab those. Yeah, okay. That one can go. There you go, Marcus. 640 florins too. And we want to make two red poppy bouquets for Leslie. trying to only get the red ones because I don't actually want to make any of the other ones right now. That should be fine.
these ones are for selling so let's take those out of there and then put the red puppy ones in jasmine one is for selling too And these are all back, so let's grab these. We're having more hydrangeas on the other side as well. That was also the perfect amount. This is all fairly packed right now, but we can still get some seeds. And I think actually we're going to take some of the hustas, or most of the hustas probably, and some of the irises too. I won't take too many of those because I actually think I might want some of those. Yellow poppies you can take some of. And sunflowers we will take some of. Take hey, look. There's just so much space. Oh, a stone. Actually, let's collect up all of the stones that we can see here and then we can check if we can buy them at Leslie's. Depending on, depending on how many we need. So I only need three more normal stone. I probably could find those around the garden, maybe. We'll come back with some more things for that later. <laughs> Let us say hi to our guest. <laughs> hey, Letha. Okay, do you have stones, Leslie? You have a very mussy boulder, normal boulder, mussy boulder. Um, she actually doesn't. She sells the frog pond. Okay, well, there's got to be then, doesn't there? There's got to be the right amount of stones in the garden. I just need to find them. Although there is the capybara pond. And honestly, I love capybaras. <laughs> Should we? Should we get the capybara pond? I think I should. I think I should do it. Um, one of the things that I do want to put in our Victorian side of the garden is this metal gazebo as well. It's actually not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. I can't even get it now. Honestly, I've just made some money and I'm like, Let let's spend it all. <laughs> Where can we spend it? Let's buy a capybara pond. And a gazebo. I think I should be able to grow things up the sides of the gazebo. Uh, which is what we're going to do. We're going to try to put clematis on there. But I think I should have some clematis seeds. I don't think I need to buy some more from Leslie. Okay, let's go. I say that and then I keep browsing. This happens in real life as well. <laughs> We might, we, well, we might, we do also need some planters for the new part of the garden, I think. So okay, Let, let's go. Time, we need to leave. We need to stop buying stuff. <laughs> right, let's go and grab some sunflowers for Frank's quest. It has, I realise this is something that I probably should have um, noticed previously, but obviously the more you have of a flower, the more seeds you're getting for a flower. So the green hellebore situation is, um, yeah. is duh. Yeah. Okay, perfect. We just need five more yellow sunflowers for Frank.
I will at least let them grow. <laughs> there. And then that can go in here. So let's go put some of our decorations down. The Capybara Pond hopefully is going to fit in this space here. So let's find out. Oh, look at them. Oh, it's really big. Okay. I think it's going to fit. Should it be like this way around? Actually, it should be, shouldn't it? Might place it and then walk around so I can see. Oh, look! Look at them. They're so cute. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect, actually. Maybe we could do with bringing those in slightly, but... Yes. This is very, very relaxing. I like it. You come over here and you can just relax with the capybaras. Or underneath the pretty astrological um, gazebo thing over here. <laughs> I need more lilac on this side, I've decided. Okay. Love that. Let's go and see what the gazebo looks like. Yes, perfect. It's exactly what I wanted it to look like. Okay. About like that, I think. And slightly out from the wall there. Oh no, actually that needs to go further back. There. Yes, so let's go see what climbing plant seeds we've got. I want clematis, I think. So even though they're not actually growing very, very well over here, I think they're going to look nice around that gazebo. Mm, only one. Maybe I should have got some of that quick grow seed stuff from Leslie. Need to go do some more shopping. <laughs> okay, that one's growing up there. I might do a mix. I might do Morning Glory and Clematis, but we'll see. And then we're going to have lots of roses. So we're going to have stuff climbing up this. We're going to have like rose pathways in here. Um, lots of pots. Can I use it? Oh yeah, this is like, it uses the same, um, same leaves and same compost as I've got over here. All of those up. Telling me it's time for bed, but there's so many things to do. <laughs> also like real life. <laughs> okay, how many sunflowers do you need? Five. We should be able to do that quickly before we end for the day. Okay, there we go. Now Leslie needs one sunflower bouquet, rose bouquet, and red poppy bouquets. Oh, hi Frank. Sunflowers. They will look magnificent in the gym. Good. Uh, uh, I don't have a specific object to give you, but I did find this note lying around. Oh yeah. Can help you craft something new with that crafting bench of yours. I forgot about this reward from Frank. I hope you have a splendid rest of the day. Uh, take care now. <laughs> and he whistles the theme tune for Garden Life. Yeah, that's this lamppost. Oh, this has given me an idea. Shall we separate this part of the garden like this? With one on that side and one on this side. That's actually nearly in line with the one on 
there. Maybe it should be. But I don't want to... Hmm. Okay, we need to go. Let's go for the day. Hopefully the roses will have grown down better. I might actually... Let's do a small experiment. Let's cut one of the rose bushes down to the ground. And then see if that one grows better than the rest. I can't believe it's only day 23. Oh, hi Frank. Clearing away all that rubble, the garden Thank you. looks much, much bigger now. It does. It's a bit cheeky, I know, uh, but I was wondering if that meant you might be able to help me. You might be able to, you Frank. See, my wife and I are helping to organize this year's village fete, and we okay. thought some bouquets and handmade decorations to decorate the hall might make for a nice touch. I agree. What do you need? Here's a list. Uh, no, <laughs> no pressure. You take your time. There's plenty of it. But your help would be greatly appreciated. Okay. If you're lucky, I might be able to see about getting that greenhouse. Oh. I know a locksmith who owes me a favor or two. <laughs> so this is how we're going to get that greenhouse open. I, I dread to think the list of what he's going to want. Oh, wow. That is a lot of stuff that I don't have. I don't have purple hydrangeas. I don't know if I have pink tulips. I do have purple irises. It's a good thing I kept those seeds. And then a large garland and a flower ladder. Oh, not a flower ladder. Did, did, did that say five? Five large gardens and five flower ladders. Wow. Okay. What do you, <laughs> Leslie? 60 white poppy cuttings. Having an, have organized a sale on poppy cuttings for a little while, but we're sadly out of white. So I was wondering if you would be able to give me some cuttings. Of course, I'll give you full price for them. Okay. Um, well, that's, that's quite a challenge. We can do it though. This is fine. <laughs> I did notice that there are some sprinklers available at Leslie's. We might need to invest in that if we're going to be quite busy. Let's put the leaves away. So much more room without the leaves. I have to kind of raise it up in the air <laughs> to do a dramatic loading with the, the spray gun. Because otherwise you just end up clicking on other things. <laughs> Nearly snipped them instead of watering them there. Getting carried away with my snipping. Well, we are definitely going to need to grow some more irises, so we'll go grab those as soon as we're finished watering and spraying. Oh, a new clematis. Oh, a white clematis. Okay, we're going to plant that over here on our new... Has it gone into storage? Yeah, okay. We're going to plant that over there on the new thing, but I need to take it out of storage first. Let's just go and give all of this water. I wish the capybaras moved. <laughs> like they would, we just bought a pond full of capybaras. Just to be friends with. Oh yes, a new hydrangea. Please be a purple. A dark red one. I 
I mean, I'm still excited to get a new seed, but we really need a purple. <laughs> that's going to look like actually the dark red hydrangea i might try it out over here at the back that's going to be in storage as well anyway isn't it let's pet the cats <laughs> and there's one too Okay, organization. If only it was that easy, really. And there's our white clematis. I also want the new hydrangea, which is, oh, there. Okay, and let's take the irises. We'll also plant the black one. I don't actually think I have any of those growing at the moment. a bit close but I think we can do that I'm gonna move that daffodil oh no you duck it out instead of watering it Okay, let's move a couple of these further in as well. Because actually the um, daffodils and tulips, they don't need that much space. Okay, perfect. And I think... Maybe also like here. Let's just move that over. And we'll just kind of put them around there as well. In fact, let's put them here as well, next to the frog, and then the um, lamp thing can go on that side. Let's go and plant that white clematis over here oh look see that already looks so pretty and we're gonna take our red hydrangea and put it in its experimental position <laughs> over at the back of the bleeding hearts if it turns out really pretty i will put them in a more obvious place. So, there's lots happening currently in the garden. We have a big list of things to do for Frank. Uh, we've got a couple of smaller tasks to do, but that's going to be the main goal because I want to get in here. I want to get inside the greenhouse. That's going to be the last area, I think, to unlock. And I have no idea whether we can grow different stuff in there or whether we're more likely to get certain seeds in there or anything like that. But it's uh, it's definitely going to look pretty in there either way. Also, as we're doing that, we are going to be gradually building this up to be the beautiful Victorian garden. Hopefully going to get some pathways in here. We're going to have some rose beds and this is going to have clematis growing up on all sides of it. I'm not sure whether I might try to get something in the center or whether we'll just leave that the way it is, but we'll see. Maybe. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for joining me today in the garden where so much has happened. And if you want to see the progress of my Victorian garden in front of the greenhouse, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. And I'll see you soon. Bye.